Thank you so much, Danielle. Working overnight, FHP is investigating an incident that injured a St. Johns County Sheriff's deputy after he was hit in the middle of a traffic stop. And news for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is there and he is live right now. Aaron, you've just learned some new information about that deputy's condition. I did. A St. John's County Sheriff's Office spokesperson just let me know that that deputy is at home this morning. He was released from the hospital last night after being hurt during that crash. A couple of other people were also rushed to the hospital after being injured during that crash, during that traffic stop as well. They are experiencing or they experienced some life, non life threatening injuries as well. This is the area where all of this happened right down on US one near the intersection where we are. You can see it's clear, it's open right now. Drivers are dealing with some fog, but this is a different scene last night. Here's what it looked like shortly after that crash. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office says the deputy pulled over a car and was on the passenger side talking with those inside when another driver who was speeding hit the car that was parked on the driver's side. That impact threw the deputy who was on the other side talking with the people inside. In addition to the deputy being hurt, the people inside the car that was pulled over were also rushed to the hospital. According to that sheriff's office spokesperson, their injuries were non life threatening. Again, the deputy is home from the hospital after being released uh, last night. Florida Highway Patrol is investigating this crash. One thing we're working to find out from FHP is what the status is of that other driver and if that person is facing any charges related to the crash. Reporting live from St. John's County, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.